So I see you want to get into Pokemon. Fantastic! It is an, an emotional trial, an emotional um, path that you will take. You will enjoy the cards, the gameplay, the people, the community. It is fantastic. Unless you're in one of those places that is a card shop that is just there just to sell profit and not really care about anything. Anyway, but you want to... You found a good place, you found good people, your friends have taught you like a little bit of the game, you know, of how to play, your friends have brought you in, or whatever. Fabulous. Now, are you ready to cough up the dough? Are you ready to cough up that moolah? Are you ready to spend money, thousands of thousands of thousands of of pennies wrapped up into dollars. Are you ready for that? If not, then you come to the wrong place. But if you want to spend money for expensive cards, all that, it's whatever you want. Okay, I went off topic here. My The main thing of this is for the beginners, the ones that know how to play, your friends probably let you use a deck, one of their decks, and you already got the gist of things. Now, you want to go and play at the card shop with your own cards, with your own deck, with your 60 card deck filled with awesome Pokemon that are not entirely expensive because you're just starting and you just want to play with friends. The casual Pokemon card players. And that's why I come to this site here. Because you are going to need, well, I'm not going to show the site yet, but you are going to need staples. You're going to know what you need to make a good deck. So, without further ado, let us go and commence with the website. Welcome to Poke Goldfish, your source for Pokemon trading card game deck game. Card game prices and decks. I was messing up there. This, my friends, will help you on your journey. This will help you to pick, to pick what cards you want, what deck you want to make. So let's get started, right? So this website, I, I saw it. It was beautiful. I really enjoyed it. It says there it's an alpha, but you know what? I don't care. It is great. Especially when it has prices and all, since I know we really care about getting the lowest price, you know, getting getting a good deal. So what you need is to know is you're going to be, usually, you're going to try to go for standard. So for this day in 2017, uh, the year of 2017, on the month of October, the standard right now is Burning Shadows, Guardians Rising, Base Set, Sun and Moon. And then it goes on to X and Y Evolutions, Steam Siege, Phase Collide, Generations, Breakpoint, and Last Breakthrough. These are the sets that are legal. These are the sets that are going to be used in the standard format. Expanded, anything that's like last year or anything like that, we're, we can use those. We can, but they don't make any of those sets anymore. Of course, you might find a, a pack of Ancient Origins, but right now, this is a beginner. You want to go into standard, play with friends, play at your card shop, your local card shop. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and look at the staples. So, this is what everyone needs. And you are going to need a Professor Sycamore. Yes, a Professor Sycamore. Let me see. This was over here in Breakpoint 107, I believe. Yes. <clears throat> this is what you're going to need. Professor Sycamore. Four of. Get a four set. A play set. Why do you need this card? This card is an aggressive draw. You get rid of seven cards, 
I mean, you get rid of your whole hand, like all the cards you have in your hand, get rid of them and draw seven cards. And I'm talking to you as if you already know how many cards you need, you know, discard your hand, whatever, you know, you, you basically got the gist of it. So you're going to need Professor Sycamore. All your friends, all those that are into the Pokemon trading card game and have been there for years, know that Professor Sycamore is a viable card. It is a needed card. So, you're going to need this one, 4 of. And you can see the prices here, you know, it, it gets a little pricey. But, if you want to just, like it says, it's for fun. You don't need hollows. You don't need reverse hollow cards. You, you just need the card, you know. Look for it and buy a set. Buy four. Because you're going to need it. In all decks. Alright. So, the second one. The second one we are going to be going to. And, then, and I actually have all my cards here that are, um, you know, needed. And it's in the set Fates Collide. Going down. Hold on. I'll find it. You're going to need an N. Yes. That letter is most important in this format. N. It has been here for a good while now. You can see right here on the side, it's been here from Noble Victories, Face Collide, even in Dark Explorers, the black and white era. But N is very, very, very good. You, it says there, each player shuffles his or her hand into his or her deck, then each player draws a card from each of his, his or her remaining prize cards. So essentially, this is good for giving you cards without losing any, like a Sycamore. Like, say if you have a, a card you really need, and you have a Sycamore and an end, well, you're going to use a end because you don't want to get rid of anything. So, very good for that. And it is very good for disrupting your opponent. It's very good. If he's already down to two cards, and you haven't even gotten any prizes, you punish him. You put down that end, you shuffle your hand, you get six cards, because that's how many prizes you have. And they get two cards because they got only two prizes left. So it is for disruption. It is to save your life. It is to save your hand. Very good. You need four of. This is what you need. Four of. So what else is needed in this format? Well, the next important one is very, very important. It is the new... Lysander. It is actually, we, let's not even bring out Lysander because you're new. You want to know the new stuff. This is a Guzma. And it is in Sun and Moon Burning Shadows. And it is number 115 right here. <clears throat> what is this? What is this card? Search, switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with their active Pokemon. If you do, switch your active Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. Very, very good. It grabs a Pokemon from your opponent's bench. If they have an injured Pokemon in the bench, you're going to grab it. And you want to get rid of it. So you use a Guzma to grab it. Of course, you have to switch your own Pokemon. But if you have, per se, a Pokemon with free retreat... Put that one in the active, and then retreat, and attack. Very good. It's good to get a four set. It's very. Uh, it's right now because it's a. Uh, it only has one set in it, Guzma. So it's going to be up in price. But you don't need the shiny ones. You don't need the reverse hollows. You just want the card. So very good to have. Very good to have. Now, let's go for. The necessities of items. Let's go to the most important one of all. The most beautiful. It's been here for years. I mean so many years. Ultra Ball. You need four of these suckers. Discard two from your hand. Discard two cards. Search your deck for a Pokemon. You have to reveal it, but you put it into your hand and you shuffle your deck. If you need a certain Pokemon, 
you just need to evolve a Pokemon, or you need an you need a Pokemon with an ability, something that's good. You're gonna need an Ultra Ball. It gets any type of Pokemon you want. Of course, you have to discard two cards, but this is your only chance of getting the Pokemon. Very good. You need four of, and they're very cheap. Very cheap because there's so many Ultra Balls throughout the years. So there aren't even different sets. Some from even in Fates Collide, the one that I showed you with N, has an Ultra Ball. So it's cheap. You can there's a lot of them. What else do you need? You will need Field Blower. Why do you need Field Blower? Well, for disruption. You can, and usually everyone plays three up, but I recommend four. Get the whole set. Don't worry about it anymore. So it's in number 125. Over here. Field Blower. Choose up to two in any combination of Pokemon 2 cards and Stadium cards in your play. Everybody uses this to disrupt the opponent. For say they have a item, a tool, on their Pokemon that increases damage. Well, this stops them from from that damage, from increasing their damage. They have a stadium that keeps helping them out. You get rid of that stadium. You see where this is going? It gets rid of your Pokemon, of your opponent's cards that will help them out. Stadiums and tools. Very good. Best to get four of. Because I know everybody's running Garboder. Garbador. Garbage man. So. Very, very nice. So, what else is there? Well, we did talk about that tool that increases damage. We're going to need that too. And say hello to Mr... Number 121, go and find it every year. Choice Band! You are going to need a Choice Band. This attack of the Pokemon this card is attached to does 30 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon GXs or Pokemon EXs. You are running a budget deck. You're just getting the staples. You remember, you're, you're casual. You're going to need Choice Band because your friends are probably running very top-notch decks. Probably Gardevoir GX. Probably um, Glissopod GX. Probably Metagross GX. And even probably Volcanion GX with Terminator GX with Oho GX. You know, the, whole, the, the whole GX is it's an emotional tragedy. You don't have all the good cards. But they do. So you gotta defend yourself. Choice band is the way to go. Now what else do we need? What other viable card can we use to save our butts? Well, without looking further, well you can look further. It is number 130. Yes, 130 of Guardians Rising. Rescue Stretcher. Everybody needs this card. Of course, there's another alternative, and I'll show it to you. But first of all, Rescue Stretcher. You have two options. You can only choose one, though. Put a Pokemon from your discard pile into your hand. How great is this? You have probably a Rattata. And you already have a Raticate in the front. The Raticate is gone. You put the Rattata in front. You need a Raticate. But you don't have an Ultra Ball. You got nothing. You have the good energy. You need. You have energy for it. But you need that Raticate. Rescue Stretcher is your guy. Is your tool. It's an item. Not a tool. But still, it is a good card. You take that Pokemon from your discard pile into your hand. And then you evolve it. Very good. Situational. Very nice. And then it says the second option. Shuffle three Pokemon from your discard pile into your deck. You're running out of Pokemon. You need them into your hand. Shuffle those Pokemon into your deck. It is a fabulous thing. Very, very fabulous. 
because you can get you won't. Hold on, I'm thinking too many different things. If you're running out of cards, you put three Pokemon in, saves you from that, from a deck out. You need a line, an evolution line. Get them back. You see, it is very good to have. I just for all these cards, I I suggest getting four up so you don't you know miss any. So. But usually everyone puts two. Very good to have. Very, very good to have. Alright. So what else is there on the agenda? You are going to need Retreat. And for this very reason, we go to Breakpoint. No, no, no. Breakthrough. Yeah, Breakthrough. Ooh, man, what's going on here? Break. Let's see. 137. Where are you? Right there, floatstone. Everybody needs a floatstone. Free retreat. It's a tool. You put on a Pokemon. Instant retreat. Well, you have free retreat. Very, very nice. Everyone uses two of. Some use three. Some use four. But you see, it's very good. Very good to have. Right now, since it's, it looks like you're getting a little bit expensive, but I suggest you getting this card. Very nice to have. Unless you make a reprint, then it'll be alright. You don't need it, but it's situational. Some decks need it. But you know what? It's good to have. Now, what else are we needing? Oh, yes, of course. You're gonna need. And every card is using this card. No, I mean, every person is using this card. Cards don't use cards, my friends. So calm down. Where is my mouse? There you go. Going all the way down to break through. Number 134, Bridget. This sexy mama right here is very, very good. Search your deck for one basic EX or three basic Pokemon. But we're not looking for getting EXs. No, we can use an Ultra Ball or a Nest Ball. Nest Ball, you know, gets a Pokemon onto your bench. Okay, but it says get three basic Pokemon onto your bench three basic Pokemon you already got a full bench half a bench most of your bench is full already it's very very good very nice very nice you need a card like this into your hand a lot of decks are playing it because there's no more um, there's no more EX's that's like holding this card back there's a lot of basic GXs, a lot of basic Pokemon now. It's more evolution line. So you're going to need this card to get Pokemon on the field. Very, very nice to have. Now what else is there? Well, you're going to need energy, man. You're going to need a lot of energy. There's a lot of things. <laughs> There's a lot of things you're going to need. I brought out those ones because those are the most used. And I'm only using... I'm only talking about items, trainers, you know, trainer cards, supporters. I'm not talking about Pokemon, I'm not talking about... And there's so many other things you could use, like, look at that. Super Scoop Up. Who wouldn't want to use that one? Or Sophocles. <laughs> the little boy there. Or Olivia. You know, there's so many Pokemon, so many cards, supporters you can use. But these are the ones that are most used right now. And other decks that are really used are situational. These are for fire decks. Acerola, very good to have. But only situational. For Tapu Koko decks. Probably um, Galissapod GX. You know, it's situational. You know what? I do recommend getting Acerola. Get four of them. Very good. Let's look at that up. Put one of your Pokemon that has any damage counters on it, all cards attached to it, into your hand. Self-explanatory. Have 100 damage on it. Want to get rid of it? Use a Cerola. Very nice. Get four up. Very important. Oh my goodness. Wonder why that did that. Let's see here. Home. But you get it now. 
these are the most used. Like these are going to be used in all decks. So have those. Get ready for them. There's many other ones, like I said. There's Hala. There's Hau. No one uses Hau. Some do because it looks cool. Mallow. You know, they're situational. But these are the cards that everyone's using right now. So, that is it for today. That is all I wanted to show. Wait for part two. This time, we're going to talk about Pokemon. That'd be good on a budget. So thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If there's a something that I miss, probably you think it's a meta, something very valuable for beginners, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. Leave a like if you liked it. Dislike if you dislike it, you know. You know the whole gist of the whole thing. So I will see you guys later on the next video, part two. Looking forward to it. I'll be signing off now. Bye. Ciao. Adiós.